kids, sit up and pay attention. It's time for Retro Rhythmic! Hello, everybody. So long, farewell, I'll be to say goodbye. Goodbye. That was quick, wasn't it? Um, anyway. So, th welcome to Series 3 of Retrorific with a cool new theme tune. It was playing just then, I think. I don't know. 2010 has <laughs> been shit so far, yeah. So let's have a dwell back on the good, wholesome year that was 2009. Uh, do, yes. No, do the... Do the yeah, see? Um, there was 2009 all <laughs> uh, Yeah. So there were ups and downs. Yes. There were yes. some very big ups and some very, very, very transformer sized downs. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck you, Michael Bay. Shall we start with the first thing that we talked about this year? Which would be Watchmen. Watchmen. Yes, Watchmen. Um, Arty as fuck. Pretty. Didn't hold that much substance, it was all style, but you know what, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Best trailer I've ever seen in my life, though. Oh yeah, definitely. Most amazing, but the film just didn't live up to it. It was a good film. Yeah. Um, but, but then, I mean, I, you can't really follow someone out an animal more comic book, can you? No. It's just, you just can't capture the magic that is that comic book. Um, so... so not a downer, but... It, a good, yeah. but, um, you know... A, a little disappointing, I'd say. Yeah. But a great visual companion to the comic. Yes. And uh, next up was Star Trek, I believe. Star Trek. Yes, probably. Um, bloody hell, that was good. I loved every second of Star Trek. I I just really hate the title. Because it's just the typical, like, oh, are we going to call it Star Trek Eleven? No, oh, are we going to give it a new title? No, fuck it, let's just call it Star Trek and completely ruin all the established continuity. No, to be fair, let's face it, it did retcon, like... It did, but, you know, they, they should... It years It should, it should have a subtitle to differentiate it from the other films. Star but. Trek, it's not like the other one. You can watch <laughs> this and not be a nerd. Yeah. That's what they should have called it. Also, I didn't like the music. Next was Terminator 4. I enjoyed Which it. Which was... Bloody was, hell, that was awful. It was far away fun as far as I was concerned. It wasn't. It wasn't as prestigious as the term, as the other Terminator. The two other Terminator films. I think they made a three. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure on that one. No, I, maybe, I, maybe not. They they definitely did not make a third Terminator film. That no. was a big. But I heard the guy who pla who was planned to do it did a very good fil um, film. Film. Like last year, was of this. Yes. Like it's a shame he never made Terminator 3, he might have made a good Terminator 3. He didn't. Um, <laughs> so, ignoring the horrific travesty and raping of one of my favourite franchises that was Terminator 4, I moving... Right. Oh, fuck off. What, what next? Uh, it was Wolverine, that was great. Oh, you fucking ruined it. <laughs> I saw the last ten minutes of that film because I walked in on someone watching on DVD. <laughs> my favourite comic book character was... The Merc with a mouth had his mouth taken away. What the fuck is with that? If uh, I ever find out who was responsible for that, well, if I ever find people responsible for that, there will be a nasty evening involving a, a, a Deadpool comic and a lot of paper cuts, possibly with some sort. I'll tell you what, you remember when the, when that film Bad got night. leaked online before it yeah, came I saw, out? Yeah, I saw the bit leaked. I, I watched the first 10 minutes of it, and I, I, I was watching it and I went, Oh, Dominic Monaghan's in this. Oh, Dominic Monaghan's dead. Done. And I turned the film off. Let's let's talk about another great disappointment of 2009. Oh, there are so many. Transformers 2. Bigger, louder, more robots so you can see even less what's going on. And Bay wants to do the third one in 3D, which... What? <laughs> I heard that. I'm sorry, but oh. for fear of my own actual... I, I don't think I. I, I don't thought Transformers 1 was fine. Because a lot of people complained about how it was too jumpy and too. you know, in your face and everything well, like that. By, no, fine, was, by fine, do you mean shit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't too crowded. When yeah. you throw 60 robots into the scene and when they're so intricate, you just can't see what the fuck's going on. Mm. I was really annoyed by that. It, it's not a robot, it's just a mess of grey movement. Yeah. Um, and big steel balls. And oh, I'm never going to forgive him for that. 
and big farting robots. Farting, farting robots and transformer testicles. I think the world could have done without those. <laughs> oh, bad times. Bad but then, times. out of the mist of the disappointment that was 2009, Come out of the ruin, a revolution, out of the ruin, a of, revolution, of, indeed. No, out of the ruin of the Halo movie came District, District 9, Nine, which was amazing. 2009 was a very important year because of two films. Um, it literally comes to District 9, which can be seen elsewhere, are like, that was fucking awesome um, moment. And I think the other one would be Moon. Oh, yes. The, those two films have basically mm -hmm. just said, wow, you don't have to have a studio backing you. You just have to either be David Bowie's son or Peter Jackson's mate and you can make a really good independent film. Oh. Actually, when you put it like that. <laughs> <laughs> but um, those two films, I, I'm not sure of which was my favourite. I enjoyed them both. Um, and I think maybe that doesn't have to be a favourite. No, there's, maybe there's you can enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, District 9 was an unashamed B-movie which crossed 40 mil, made tons of Unashamed B-movie, but also just insanely well-written B-movie. Mm. It had a flying pig and mechas. Yeah. That, that's got me, okay? And, and yeah. tons of exploding heads. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whereas Moon was dark, serious, and had that thing with the really weird, like, shit yeah. moment. Yeah. Which, yeah, was awesome. Which, which was kind of lost on me because I already knew what was coming. But I was really enjoyed the film. I enjoyed it. Yeah. We both enjoyed it. So we're coming, coming at it from different angles. So that should be enough to recommend it to everyone. You, there, watch it. Especially you. Yeah, especially. I saw that. You're not watching porn. Put it away. <laughs> um, you might want to get that checked out by a doctor, mate. <laughs> what? Not meant to go like that. What? Um, what? So we've gone from... The little guys, yes. The little guys who are crawling their way up in the industry, despite knowing two very big people in various industries. But <laughs> we're, we're, yes. We'll ignore that because it, it makes you wonder. Feel for the little guy, really does. Are you getting to some kind of point here, James? I am. Okay. Sometimes. Um, but yeah, let's go to the big guy. The big guy. The big guy. The guy who has the two highest grossing movies. Now, Mr. Cameron, and. Mr. The, the, finale, the finale of the year, which was Avatar. And what a finale it was. Man, ah, oh, I could not have asked for a better end to 2009. I was so worried about Avatar. I watched the trailer a hundred times and I just, I just couldn't get into it. I could not see it myself. <laughs> Sorry? It's been a bit of yeah, but I could not see myself enjoying that film. And then we went to see it in 3D, and it just... It, I mean, I'm not going to say it blew my mind, because, you know, the story was pretty basic. But it's not about the story, it's about the world that he created, and the detail, and the attention, and love and care that went into it. And just the, the hundreds of hours of work that was put in by everyone who worked on that film. Just I, an incredible piece of cinema. It's It still annoys me on a fundamental level that it's mind-blowing visually, but not story-wise. I'm, I'm still getting to grips with that, but then again, that's what I always expected, so I shouldn't really be disappointed by that. Mm. On emotional storytelling side, there is one film that we didn't actually review together, and I'm not sure whether you have even seen it, but... Pixar proved their worth. Not seen it yet. With Up. I'm sorry, it is a stunning piece of work. Not seen it. I mean, so Absolutely. I, I really <coughs> can't bestow enough blessing on that film. It was absolutely fantastic. I cried, and to get me crying in cinema, it, it normally involves a fork. But Zombieland as well was. Oh, yeah, Zombieland, fantastic. of course. Um, Good fun. Good fun. There's not really much you can say yeah, about it. Yeah, the sort of fun. two two kind of throwaway films this year. I mean, there are a lot of throwaway films that were really bad, like the ones we've already mentioned. But the two throwaway films this year that I think were just great were Zombieland and Surrogates. Yeah, two I films that, that you, you barely heard anything about them in the press, but they were just great, fun, 
So they're the kind of films that you they're the kind of films that you have lying around on DVD. Yeah. You chuck on once in a blue moon, and you'll go. <laughs> yeah, you'll get <laughs> a still few, funny. Get a few friends round, you know, get a bit stoned or have a couple of beers or something, and watch the film, and you go, oh, this is a good film. I wonder why I haven't watched it in a while. What else do we have? Well, I think that's pretty much that's it. That's it for films. Do you want to talk about TV a little bit? 